Hey y'all, good morning. It is Saturday, I'm about to head to the church because we're having a church garage sale and I wanna show y'all something. <laughs> I'm feeling really bad. Um, appears the cats were on the table. And I know this because the tablecloth thing is messed up. So, wah, no paperwork. And Marvin is, that's just the coupons. Marvin does coupons for us. And this pile is almost all gone. What? I know, I'm pretty proud of myself. I know. <laughs> and um, I have to clean everything this weekend. I've got company coming again this coming week. It's another daughter. It's the baby triplet, actually. And we're gonna be doing some content planning and some Instagram content building and batching. And I, I, I can't be, hi, I can't be distracted. I can be distracted by petting a cat, yeah. He took up all of us. This is Socks. Socks is our very friendly, very energetic kitten. He is seven months old, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Seven months old, almost. And Captain will be, on the 13th, he'll be one year, one year old. One years old, one year old. He'll be, he'll be a year old. How about that? So like I said, today we have the church garage sale and I'm fixing to head over there. Marvin's already over there helping, but I made Marvin bacon, biscuits and gravy again this morning. Nice southern breakfast, no. I did make that for him, so I wasn't ready. He had already taken a shower. I was making breakfast. He left. I cleaned up a little bit in the house, took a shower, hair still wet, and now I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. Today, we're wearing this awesome Love Thy Hood t-shirt. It's our church shirt, actually, and I've got on CJLA jeans. They're the Tate jeans. They're very nice, very stretchy but they are really long too, so I had to roll them up. I'm wearing flip-flops because it's wet outside and I'll switch to tennies or whatever later and uh, if, we go, if I go somewhere else. I might be going somewhere and I'll tell you about that in a second. But I didn't know if I should do like a little half tuck or just like leave it down and be cash or do like a front tuck, but see my jeans are kind of poking out here because I'm probably a little too, a little too snug or something. I don't know, but anyway, I think it looks fine. Best Buy does a price match, whoops, price match guarantee. And I am gonna get, I'm shutting all the lights off that I just turned on, cause I'm not gonna do anything more here. So I, my daughter, Kat, the one that's coming this week, just bought an iPad and she told me that it's on sale at Walmart for $249 and at Best Buy it's $329. So she took it and they price match guaranteed. Now they didn't price match it based on the Walmart because the way that their program works is this, because I called and asked about it before I, before I truck over there to buy mine. So the way that it works is that they will price match, but if it's only if Walmart ships it from Walmart. But if Walmart's shipping it from Apple, then that doesn't count in their price match guarantee. So I did not know that. But anyway, that's how it works apparently. So, um, he did tell me though that Amazon had the same, uh, the same price and Nebraska Furniture Mart. Like, why is Nebraska Furniture Mart selling iPads? I don't know. But anyway, they are. So, I'm gonna go up there. I have a gift card to Best Buy that has, still has some money on it. I have another gift card that I had received. I have a Best Buy, like, rewards because we bought TVs and, and, junk like that and so i still have a reward left from that so i'm probably going to end up paying like a hundred bucks for an ipad not too bad for like a brand new one it's the 9.7 inch and uh i'm super excited about it so shut off all the lights turn off the alarm and i'm gonna go hey y'all i just got done at the garage sale there wasn't really anything to film this garage sale stuff but I did purchase some stuff. All the clothes are like a dollar each, so I bought a High Fives and Good Vibes t-shirt. I bought a shirt that says Texas, 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 Texas on it. And I figured I can wear that when I travel and the people know I'm from Texas. <laughs> or maybe I just visited Texas and got a souvenir shirt, I don't know. And that's pretty what the other shirt says. 
And then I got two kind of sweater-like things, or maybe three kind of sweater-like things. I don't remember. But anyway, that's what I got, and I'll show you when I get to the house. Round two. I actually tried on some of those clothes I just bought, and they're a little too snug for my current svelte figure. So, which is okay, it's fine, they were a dollar. And I could maybe, maybe wear them when I lose weight. Whenever that may be. Now, I'm headed to Target. I'm gonna return those shoes that didn't have the strap. Hopefully, they're gonna have another pair and or be able to order them and not cost me anything additional. Then, I'm going to Best Buy because I'm buying me an iPad. Yes, it's iPad purchase day. I'm pretty excited about it. And I think for like Mother's Day, my birthday, I'll just ask the kiddos to like buy me an Apple pen, maybe a cute case or something. I don't know, something like that. But let's get this show on the road because it's already like 10.30, so gotta go. I just bought an iPad and I had two gift cards. I had some rewards with Best Buy, so I walked out with a brand new iPad for only $80. So I totally love the folks at this Best Buy. It's the Best Buy in Mesquite. I don't know the address, but is there another one in Mesquite? I don't think so. But they're just they're just phenomenal here. The the service is is always spectacular. And like I was telling the one guy that worked for Apple actually um, directly, I was telling him there are several employees here that if I was still working in banking and needed like sales people like bankers or investment bankers I totally would try to be still in them because they're just like knowledgeable they're spot on they have their you know like game together it's like you know I just really like this place so I'm gonna head home and go pick up Marvin and then we're gonna go to the Cinco de Mayo celebration and then we're gonna go home and relax and then we're going to Carrie's so it's gonna be a fun day right there and now we went to go look at those dresses again got some elote and now we're getting colecas. we are gonna watch one more grip perform or at least part of their performance and then we're gonna head home because we have somewhere to go tonight and we need to relax and I want to set up my iPad so right baby I'm having fun though I'm having a good time but I'm with this guy so So we're gonna have fun tonight. I got, uh, see I don't even know where it just cut off. So I, we went to the Cinco de Mayo celebration. It was absolutely so much fun. We had a really good time. But look how red I am now. So 
I had my sunglasses on, so I've got the whole sunglass sunburn effect going on. I'm adding mascara because mascara is life. And we're gonna have fun tonight. We're home. And I'm ready for bed. I don't know where I put my phone. So I'm gonna find my phone, and go to bed, and get ready for another awesome day tomorrow. We went over Carrie's, and the kids are playing outside. We've had way too much sun, and so I just stayed inside. And then we had brisket tacos, and they were delish. Delish. And then we were like, we're ready to go home. So they hadn't even cut, uh, cut the cake or sang happy birthday or anything, so she cut us a piece of cake really quick, and then they sang happy birthday, and then we came home, and now we're tired, so we're going to bed. And I'm trying to find my phone. I did find my other glasses though, my other sunglasses. I found them in the closet. So that was great. Now I know where those were. So I don't know, I don't remember putting them in there, but I mean, obviously I did, because that's where they were. I don't know where my phone was. So, cats have been fed. And yeah, it was a good time. Watch it be in the car. Uh, but I need my phone. Pretty sure I had it in here. But maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna go out to the car. And then go to bed. And it's only 9.44. But I'm already like, so tired. So well guess what friends? I went off and left my phone at Carrie's house in Forney. That was awesome. Not really. So, they're gonna meet me halfway. And I say they, I mean Gavin and his friend that they call Papa Smurf. So, I'm gonna head down. Yeah, this will be the quickest way. They're gonna meet me at the place where the old bull's pen was, which is right off of 80, at the edge of Mesquite and Sunnyvale, if you know where that is, folks. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Can you believe that? Can you believe I went off and left my phone? I was, I could have swore I had undid the security when we got home, but I guess not. And then, I mean, y'all, I'm already in my pajamas. I've already got my Invisalign back in. I've already washed my face, put oil on my um, sunburn, but oh well. At least they're meeting me halfway, although I wouldn't have minded going all the way because it is what it is. I left it my bad, so. Anyway, okay, well that's what I'm gonna do. So don't forget, be kind, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.